Oh, would you look at that? I've got another special boy star. Ba 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 ba. Gold. Hello, everybody, and unfortunately, welcome back to another episode of Hoi for A to Z. Well, it's not really Hoi for A to Z. It's kind of like Hoi for A to Z plus. Paradox released a new nation in the game for some damn reason. Uh, now I'm not too sure if there'll be any more starting nations ever added into the game at some point, but if they are, I will come back and slay them, Queen. Al sir, do be bussin'. I don't know how to pronounce this. Braun, how do you pronounce this? <clears throat> Awesome. Thank you, Braun. Perfect. All right, welcome to the brand new nation of the Salt Nut of To Be Determined. Uh, if you guys like my new series, Hoi 4 A to Z Plus, uh, leave a like, subscribe down below. We're trying to hit happiness. All right, so believe it or not, it's actually uh, not a hard life down here in Aousa. Aus I don't know what to call them. We'll just go with Aousa. Ah, Sus! It's, uh, it's actually a interesting nation. Now, you might think that the focus tree, they do get a focus tree, is unique to them. But it's not. Actually, every nation that you can release from Ethiopia has this focus tree. So it is a new unique focus tree. It's just not unique to... What did we say we're gonna... Asa! Right, so we don't start at war with the Italians. In fact, they will be coming soon, though, as they will demand our subjugation, which we will say, No thanks, bro! So we're gonna have to wait for the inevitable invasion, which we will hold off menacingly. Now, I do actually have another plan for this video that I think will blow your mind. So make sure you stay around to the later part of the video for a new trick I've learned called viewer retention. <laughs> I'm joking, it's actually pretty interesting. Right, so first thing in our focus tree, we are gonna go ahead and do warrior tradition to get a extra free afar units, which are gonna help mighty much to stop the Italianos. All right, so we got this event from the Italians and we are just gonna hold it until it's about to run out and then we will select it just so we can get them uh, the max expansion because we are only going to hold these two provinces there's no point holding this one as we can be attacked from one two three four provinces i guess if you uh, also wanted to you could just get annexed by them sounds fun all right so there they go in comes Mussolini all right there we go now we're just gonna set our front line here and uh, we're gonna leave the units that spawn in on our capital uh, because the uh, Italians will push the Ethiopians back no thanks bro okay well <laughs> <laughs> Being serious. Pretty cool. They just straight up managed to push us out of that province just because he was sick. All right, no problem. Though. The boys are here to defend our honor. All right, we're gonna immediately counterattack out with them to see if we can reclaim that province. They brought more guys, and so we're not even going to bother. We're just gonna wait until they get into more battles with the Ethiopians here, and then when they look weak, I'll uh, strike back out. Go. That is definitely our chance to strike there. I'm gonna rotate units a bit just so we can see if we can meme them out here. Oh no, they, oh, they brought the cringe brigade. I handed to the Ethiopians here. They are actually managing a pretty nice defense, which is giving us more time, but also we want them to capitulate really, really quickly. Ooh, that, there we go. Okay, boom. We're back to two provinces. In fact, we could even go as far to try and snipe a couple more provinces here. I'm getting a little overzealous, aren't I? Yes, I'm getting a little overzealous. Okay, so Ethiopia has now capitulated. First thing we want to do is try to take this province right here because because it has fought. There we go. So we've retreated back from this province here. And now we have this province here. And if we wanted to, we could try to hold this one. But it's not really worth it, I think. I think we're already in a bit of a predicament where we are. So I'm going to start producing actual infantry. With whatever manpower we can scrape a hold of. Which it, it's not a lot. We no, no, no manpower here. As you can see, the Italians are... Uh, not having a fun time trying to invade the two mountain tiles. One with two little forts on. Right, so we're going down the little amazing focus tree here. And we've managed to get ourselves some civilian factories. Which we're going to give to the French in exchange for materials to make gun. And as you can see, we are to make gun very well. Uh, we're limited on our convoys though. So if the Italians start raiding the steel coming to us, it ain't going to look pretty. Okay, now we've secured the state, we need manpower. 
And there's really only one efficient way to get manpower and single player out of thin air. <laughs> oh no, it, be <laughs> it begins. Yeah, so we can't sit here forever. We will need to push out. But to push out, we need manpower. The gun situation's getting better, so... Anyone down for a revolution? We just got class conflicts, which means boom, there you go, nice. And we got a new guy in charge, but the old guy is still our field marshal down here. I'm sure he doesn't mind. All right now, you know what I'm gonna do. Here it goes. Our weekly manpower plus 500. Thank you very much. If you can see, 500 a week's gonna make a lot of difference there. All right now, this focus right here is gonna give me two more units. Then after I have that, we are gonna try and push them out of at least a province somewhere. Here. Uh, if you're wondering what the casualties are like, boom, I've lost 29,000, the Italians have lost 293,000, 260 of which was done by me. Hashtag just Italian things. Hey, never mind, uh, yeah, the field marshal is in fact now got- okay, we're gonna need a new guy, and we've uh, actually been- <laughs> I kind of assumed this would happen, so I was making a guy the whole time. Uh, but now my new guy needs a new guy, so yeah, we're just reshuffling things here. So this guy is an infantry expert now, which is- very handy as we did not have one and he is a very very good one to look at that that is amazing so this is where we're going to attack into it was the weakest spot in the line and on a very good province for us to take i think they're going to go reinforce it though so i'm just going to try pin them there for a second there we go i am a master strategist it's great look at all the manpower we just got so i'm going to use all of that immediately while i can so yeah you didn't know i'm already up to service by requirement the italians do throw the spaghetti out of the pram for that one though as you can see but it does not matter i got the infantry out and uh, we could just run away from this province now if we wanted to uh, but i'm gonna try hold it regardless and uh, see if we can weaken this line up here and do an attack it has <laughs> called for backup but i don't think that's gonna save them or now we could do something real funny here but uh yeah i'm not i'm gonna resist the urge for just set the world on fire there you go world war ii has kicked off so we're about to get a bit of support and this faction i think i might actually join but not just yet because uh, first off i am gonna go ahead and give them some military access so i've pushed out to this province right here and i'm gonna attempt to keep pushing them this way now for uh, reasons you'll see in a minute right okay so this is a good example it is happening so the allies have now well they haven't declared war on italy italy joined the german war so they are at war with the allies but the problem is if the allies were to push through their own land into this province right here they would actually flip the province to ethiopia who is also in their faction technically because they're in exile uh for these provinces up here we don't have to worry because i don't think uh what well, they do actually have a claim but uh i also have a claim on these provinces and they it just flips to me it, i think it's a coin flip of who they will flip to over here because neither me or ethiopia has cause over there but ethiopia has cause all over here which means they will get priority but not Unless the AI pushes through my land. Uh, if I was to join the allies though, that would mean that this land would go to Ethiopia. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep pushing from here. I say we. I'm just kind of going to hope that the uh, AI has most of this covered. I'm trying to push them out of the port down here, but as soon as I had any luck, and then boom. <laughs> German tank. Never mind. German tank walked out out of the port. Uh, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a smart move, Mr. Tank. Right, so everything else is almost liberated. The only problem is Ethiopia has this damn province over here. I'm not too sure if that'll flip back to me if I take the rest of the state, considering I, I, I really hope it does. Uh, it did not. Is that locked me? It did not lock me out of the focus. Why did that not lock me out? I guess I'm the state. Wait, how am I the state owner? But you're the state owner at the same time. Um, okay. I mean, I'm not too sure if that's normal. But this will give us cause on all of Ethiopia. Uh, which should be fine for us to join the allies after that. Yeah, I don't think this is a completely non-flawed plan though. Because when they took promises, I think it was here. One of them went back to Ethiopia as well. But it did flip the whole state back to me when I pushed in myself. I'm not too sure how this works. But I guess as long as you own one province in each state or technically you're the state owner somehow uh, you can still do this which requires you to control all ethiopian territory uh yeah but also if you're interested in what happens if i join the allies let's have a look at that too. there you go boom they just stole <laughs> 
All right, there you go. Boom. So all of these provinces are now cores. Are they the cores? Please. Yeah, there we go. They are cores, which is great because uh, we are having problems with revolts, which is... Uh, oh, now look at the manpower we just got. Uh, yeah, we were having problems with revolts, uh, which was literally draining every piece of manpower I had so we can get off all adults. Serve now, I think. Right, so now comes the actual fun part. Uh, you see, we are still at war with the allies and the allies, the Axis. We're not going to war the allies, don't worry. Uh, now, I thought if I actually um, joined the allies after uh, it doing my cause on this land, uh, it would actually be fine for me to join them. But uh, yeah, it still gets rid of this land, and uh, I kind of need it. So I'm not going to join the allies, I'm joining the Soviet Union! So first off, we're getting rid of every single military factory. We're going to convert them back to civilians. That's right, I'm sorry, but you are no longer needed. Now, uh... Okay, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but <laughs> that's pretty cool too. Now, uh, what's happening in the war is that we did do a big part in beating up Italy. We went ahead and got 520. Oh my, we killed so many Italians. But we only have 9% war participation, which is not very nice. So we're gonna have to raise that up a bit. Uh, and if you've been watching the past few episodes, I've been talking about a certain little technique that I found that could possibly turn the tide of things in our favor in the future peace conference here, if the Soviets don't capitulate, that is. Uh, but first, we're gonna have to do a lot of prep, and by prep, I mean we're going to need way more civilian factories. <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna go ahead and uh, disband my army altogether, but I'm glad I kept the militia, even though the AI just uh, killed them for me and took the land for me too, thank you very much. Uh, so I guess it is just a dice roll if the AI does decide to give you the land or not, because <laughs> I'm still, I'm still very upset about this one province. Uh, the Italians capitulated to their uh, civil war, and I actually got a part of their uh, capitulation bundle of fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and send it all over to uh, the Soviets. Why do I have Mongolian guns here? Uh, yeah, we just got to hope that these guys hold out, because if they don't, uh, things are going to get a little tricky for my plans here. There we go. We officially have no more production. We are peaceful. Aside from the uh, half a million Italians we killed. So, my factories have built enough to the point where I, uh, I can stop worrying about building anymore and I can start my grand plan to turn the war around in my favor. You may have been wondering what my grand idea is and I'm sure a lot of you have guessed already from what I've been researching and building and what I've talked about in other videos, which was the Lend-Lease mechanic. Now, as you know, you get war participation for sending Lend-Lease and you lose it for receiving. And you are wondering, well, if I'm not producing anything anymore, what am I going to send? Simple. Oil! Well, not oil, but fuel. We're gonna need to send a lot of fuel. And you may be wondering, well, you've only got 16 oil and that's all going to the void. True. So what we're gonna do is a thing called capitalism. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, we're just gonna trade our civilian factories for fuel. We could go ahead and keep building some refineries, but I don't really think it's worth it. I mean, we'll leave some on it just in case, but we're just gonna buy the fuel and process it into fuel ourselves. Like, immediately, we're getting a daily gain of 8,000 fuel, which we are gonna send to our lucky number one allied supporter, the United Kingdom. All right, so Mr. UK, I am producing eight thousand fuel a day and i'm gonna send that all over to you and let's see what this does mm, you know what it does it sends your damn war participation down look at it just go down we're already almost at 7k minus 7k just from lend leasing fuel and in turn we are now getting more lend lease result back from us and sending our war participation up but this is just the tip of the iceberg okay, so i've traded even more fuel right now so we can lend lease the uk even more now as you can see they don't really have the convoys for this so in fact what we'll do is we'll stop sending it to them for a while and start it sending it to the 
Soviet Union. There you go. So they'll get it all immediately, which is great. And because they all get it immediately over land, you're gonna watch it go even faster. There you go. Lenly sent up almost. We're getting to 10k in no time. I've already gone up from like 8% to 11% war participation just for sending fuel. Now, I've started probably as one of the worst nations you could do this, and I don't imagine it's probably going to be in the game long anyway. I'm sure Paradox will have changed this at some point, and, uh... It is very fun if you actually start as a nation that already starts with a ton of oil. Uh, a good one would be obviously like Iran. Iran can get a lot of oil. Iraq, I think, can also get quite a bit of oil. Venezuela. I mean, the US, you could do too. They get all the oil in the world and could immediately just nuke anyone's war participation by just sending them fuel. I, I mean, look at that. I'm already up to 20% right now. 23,000 points just from sending Lenleys. It's actually insane. And the most cursed thing is I've knocked the Soviets down to 11% war participation in a war that they've lost 5 million men in. The yeah, Soviets uh, didn't do too fresh this game, as you can tell by the fact that the Turks are currently re-liberating Crimea. <laughs> Alright, I think we can uh, we can stop sending <laughs> Lenleys to the Soviets now. They're down to 3%. I think that's a good place to leave them. And instead start nuking the UK. Oh, just a uh, a rogue Turkish tank there, going pretty unopposed for the Romanian countryside. Uh, so yeah, we I've, well, I've just been AFK, I won't lie, it's 1946, we're still waiting for them to uh, destroy the Germans, and I'm up to 45% war participation, and I've been in the other room. Alright, we've seen some action here, they've uh, actually pushed out of Italy, the soft underbelly has been tickled. Uh, the, the Balkan front over here looks... Surprisingly, no, not really any Germans here, just everyone else. Else, I'm assuming the majority of the Mongolian army has actually been trapped over here since, uh, I think Barbarossa started. They've been trying to break out this whole time. I've been watching the little arrow point up, but they, there they go again. <laughs> but no luck. Uh, yeah, they're actually up to 200,000 casualties, which is hell of a lot, considering I don't think they even have a million in all of their states combined. <laughs> Love to see it. I'm up 59%. Soviets are at zero. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, because when the Allies are now actually, uh, well, doing something, and you look like this, yeah, kind of deserved. Uh, still trying your hardest to get off this island, though. Trying, quote unquote. It's 1947. The AI has one troop per province on the Axis side. For the most part, the Allies, on the other hand, are absolutely stacking it beyond belief. And for some reason, they can't push. Uh, but more importantly, I'm at 64% war participation. I haven't even been here. Uh, I am really, really confused how exactly the uh, Germans are holding on here, though. But uh, I guess I'll, <laughs> I'll be back soon. Oh, uh, I came back. There is peace in the world. And would you look who's top of the peace deal? <laughs> Revolutionary Democratic. <laughs> Alright, so thankfully, I can actually take Ethiopian land. Otherwise, that would have been very awkward. Uh, next up, I think it's only fitting that I obviously take Rome. And then I think Germany might be a fitting prize. So, yeah, is this a little bit gamey? Yeah, it yeah, 100% is. Uh, considering I didn't do anything, uh, I was in fact not at the computer for the entire time. And I've essentially gamed the peace deal <laughs> system. And there we go. Oh my god. Revolutionary Democratic Union. Of a far oh I just wait, I just realized our name actually changed. Uh yeah, okay, so this obviously would have gone even better. I would have had way more war score if I actually was participating in the war, but if you were combining uh Len Leasing fuel, obviously, as anyone else, like the Soviets or the Americans, you'd obviously get pretty much all of the peace still. So if you want to go ahead and use this while you can for any annoying achievements. I recommend you do so, because I, I don't think this will probably be around that much longer. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That was Hoi 4 A to Z plus. Plus my sanity down the drain. Um, this nation, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have like any achievements tied to it or anything interesting tied to it. Uh, you can go ahead and do the unity at the Horn of Africa 
Uh, but you do need to go to war with the British, which I do not care for. I mean, it's literally 1948. Why would I can't? Uh, I I've won. Look, I re owned all of Germany and Austria and the Czechs. And you know, also <laughs> despite the Italians, I'm in Rome, baby. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video and my little exploit of the century, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd ever play this nation, but if you wanna, it's pretty easy.